Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to worship on this second Sunday of Lent. So good to see all of you out here today, both live and, of course, um, here in the sanctuary as well. Today, just as a reminder, at the conclusion of service, we'll be having our annual meeting afterward, directly afterward. A couple of announcements as um, you're coming in today. The table that in the back of the sanctuary, again, we're collecting food during Lent time for the YWCA food bank. Again, any non-perishable item that you can bring in, please do so. And we will be sending that over to the pantry, who during the COVID crisis has taken quite a hit. So we're trying to rebuild their food bank. For those that are involved with the Secret Sister program, please watch the mail this week. Things will be coming out. It is not too late if you have not sent your letter back in. Please get in contact with Heather. Her phone number is on the, uh, the mailer that went out to you. Um, or please get that back to the church as quickly as possible so that we can get that program up and running. Um, are there any other announcements? I will warn those that are online, we are working with a new camera and sound system today. And I'll be controlling that from the piano today. Today is Hymn and Lesson Sunday. The hymn during Hymns and Lessons has changed. It's going to be 733. Great is thy faithfulness is the hymn. A little bit easier hymn than the 750 that I had originally selected. If there are no further announcements, let us prepare for worship. We were silent when we should have said something. We acted when we knew 
better. We are still when we know we should have moved. For the wrong we have done, for the good that we have failed to do, have mercy on us. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. People of God, look to the Son given to heal you and set you free because God loved the world so much. Take hold of life, eternal life. Amen. Amen. Our opening hymn is number 720, The Glory of These Forty Days. We're going to do verse 1 and 4. Sorry, 320. 320. Abram and said to him, I have gone away 
walk before me and be blameless, and I will make my covenant between me and you, and will make you exceedingly numerous. Then Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You shall be the ancestor of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be Abram, but your name shall be Abraham. For I have made you the ancestor of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you, and your offspring after you throughout their generations, for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your offspring after you. God said to Abraham, As for Sarai, your wife, you shall not call her Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. I will bless her, and moreover, I will give you a son by her. I will bless her, and she shall give rise to nations. Kings of peoples shall come from her. Here ends the reading. Thanks, Thanks be to God. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel. For he did not despise or abhor the affliction of the afflicted. He did not hide his face from me, but heard when I cried to him. You come to my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will pay before those who fear him. Jesus our Lord from the dead, 
who was handed over to death for our trespasses and was raised for our justification. Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the enemies of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nation shall rejoice before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nation.
Please stand. Let us join together as one congregation and one voice as we say our Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, and died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended to heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of everlasting. Amen. Relying on the promise of God, we pray boldly for the church, the world, and all in need. Your gift of grace is for all people. Give confident faith to all the baptized, that they may follow you wholeheartedly. Give new believers joy in your promises. Give hope and courage to those who suffer for their faith. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. All the ends of the earth worship you, from galaxies to micro-orgasms. Preserve your creation. Teach humanity to wonder at your works and to join you in tending to creation's well-being. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. You rule over the nations. Write up advocates for peace and justice within between nations. Give life where hope seems dead. Call to existence new realities who cannot even imagine. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. In Jesus joined humanity and suffered in death, revealed to all the depth of your love shown on the cross. Bring vindication for the victims of injustice, exploitation, and oppression. Accompany all who suffer in body, mind, and spirit. Restore all who are sick or grieving, especially for Mary Delaney, Patricia Walt, Betty Frelly, Maverick Smith, Doris Winka, Denise Dolphin, Debbie Shirt, Dennis Teal, Larry Shine, Holly Bernardi, Mary Lou Berkey, Todd Erickson, Alex Nemeth, Marlene Johnson, Cindy Soley, Gregory Buckner, Lois Schultz, Bruce Monti, Joyce Maxwell, Marlene Kiowski, Steve Cavallaro, Mary Lou Phillips, Annie and Pam Lloyd, Reverend Gail Zacherson, her daughter Cindy and family, Tom Abbott, Jackson Bergrill, Cindy Hatch, family and friends of Dan Palmer, and anyone we name. Brooke, Dan Palmer, Jeff Your mercy is great. Mercy is great. You made Abraham and Sarah the ancestor of the multitude of nations. Bless grandparents, parents, and foster parents, and the children who look to them for care and guidance. Console those who deal with infertility, parents who have entrusted their children to adoption, and children longing to be adopted. Equip ministries and ser services to families. The congregation ministries and community service may be named. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. We wait the days of Christ coming in glory. Lead us by the example of all the saints whom you have called to take up their cross and follow you, that together we may find our lives in you. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is so great. We entrust ourselves in all our prayers to you, O oh faithful God, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Merciful God, you open wide your hand and satisfy the need of every living thing. You have set this feast before us. Open our hands to receive it. Open our hearts to embrace it. Open our lives to live it. We pray this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Teach 
to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. When our congregation gathered for the celebration of Holy Communion, we heard again the story of God's mighty acts and of the love shown on us in the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. With thanksgiving to remember that at night in which he was betrayed, he took the bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, gave it for all the people to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. We are given assurance of our Lord's presence through the gift of his Holy Spirit. Now we bring you to the same bread to life and the same cup of blessing, that you may strengthen, be strengthened through your participation in the body of Christ. Lord, remember us in your kingdom to teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine down upon you. May he show you mercy and bring you peace. Amen. Amen. Serve the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.